Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Premiere Next. In this video, you are going to get all the information related to the series called Culinary Class Wars Season 1. Everybody who has seen the first few episodes of a cooking competition season knows how annoying it is to keep up with 10 or 15 chefs, their distinct personalities, and the types of food they specialize in. Imagine, therefore, our feelings when entering the first round of a brand new South Korean culinary competition series with 100 competitors. The idea of a cooking competition is taken to nearly unbelievable heights in culinary class wars. In the opening scene, 80 chefs are crammed into a room and seated at four circular tables, each with 20 people. They are all given nicknames or descriptions, such as side dish master or triple star, but we don't know their real names. A number of the chefs are a little strange, one is the one who makes chicken sandwiches while wearing a chicken mask, and another has a pompadour wig a la Elvis Presley. Some run well-respected eateries, while others run small informal businesses. They all know there will truly be 100 cooks competing. So they're all wondering where the other 20 people are. The other 20 cooks emerge from the floor to stand on a platform. Above them. All of them are well-known chefs in South Korea, some have even received Michelin stars and Frank Beard awards, while others have triumphed in other culinary competitions. Each one is given a name introduction. The unknown cooks are referred to as black spoon chefs, whereas the well-known chefs are classified as white spoon chefs. 20 members of the black spoon group will face off against the white spoon group directly, with the winner taking home 300 million won, or roughly $225,000. Thus, 60 of the 80 members of the black spoon group will be removed. For 100 minutes, two teams of 40 cooks must prepare their best cuisine. Three-star Michelin chef on Sung Jae and restauranteur Paik Jong Won, who will select 20 chefs each, will serve as judges. They will either eliminate, move on, or leave someone in limbo once. They've tasted the food. The round ends when the first 20 players chosen to advance are chosen. Culinary Class Wars is an intriguing concept, but the implementation is overwhelming, at least in the beginning. The 80 Black Spoon chefs charge towards the audience with great speed and fury, their nicknames are meaningless without context. When there are 15 or so chefs to manage in the early episodes of Top Chef, our head spin, similarly, when the makers of culinary class wars give us numbers, our head spin attempting to figure out who is who. The first 30 minutes of the first episode mostly consist of no cooking as the 80 chefs arrive and mingle before the 20 white spoon chefs are presented one by one and the rules are explained. Even though everything is staged like a sporting event, we were eager to watch the Black Spoon Ensemble actually cooking. However, the rest of the show is essentially an oversized quickfire challenge. A good job of showcasing specific chefs as the judges cut them down or advance them to. The top 20 Black Spoon candidates is done by the producers. Still, we wonder how tedious it will get to identify the 20 Black Spoons who will face the White Spoons, considering that this is only half of the 80 that will be narrowed down to 20. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel for the latest updates related to upcoming movies and series.